Hey y'all, it's Michael, and it's beta day 17? Yeah, so today I'm here casually, I'm actually sitting down, uh, usually I stand up for these videos, but today I'm going to be talking about how I rate books. I've been asked this question quite frequently on my star rating on Goodreads because, I'm not going to lie, it really fluctuates. Um, Oh god, there's bees everywhere. Especially if you look at my like books that I rate on Goodreads, it really does fluctuate. I've come to learn to take star ratings, especially on Goodreads, with a grain of salt. Because, especially the overall star ratings, because I tend to find myself usually not agreeing or like a little bit lower than the general consensus. I say this because I mainly come from this point of view of like movies and video games. So in the movie industry, like I love growing up, I used to love watching like Roger and Ebert, Roger Ebert. So I used to grow up like watching his show and they would do a thumbs up and thumbs down. And so, but then when I grew up, grew up, I started reading more of his reviews and on his personal website, um, he does a four star review. He does the four star rating, uh, but he does half stars also, and I'll get to that in a minute. And also in the video game industry, which I like because I love watching video game reviews, they always give star ratings, but sometimes they'll do like letter ratings, like A+, A-, minus, that sort of things. I think star rating has a place that it gives you a quick, precise, like to the point, here's what I thought, really fast type of review. I tend to enjoy more like to read, especially if it's it's um, a reviewer that I really enjoy their content from. So I tend to read the review like what they actually write versus going straight to the star rating because I know <laughs> that that's like a habit to go straight to the star rating and this is what they think, that's it, that's done. Um, and that's why I enjoy wrap-ups for me anyways because it's views and like reviews and wrap-ups give more than what the five star Goodreads rating can tell you. I I really think Goodreads need a star rating, a half star rating, because because it, let me see. This is the thing with me and the ratings. Um, I find it really hard a lot of the times because the way that I rate a lot of the times I fall within the half star and. I can't decide because like for me a three star rating and a four star rating it's a really big difference like it's a really huge difference between that three star rating and that four star rating so like three and a half like I don't know which part of the spectrum I'm gonna fall in like I should fall the rating into so let's talk about what makes a one star book and a five star book for me and what goes into making this piece of art because I consider writing art have a one star quality and a five star quality. Now, when I read these books, um, obviously I'm like really happy. I go in with an open mind. Well, I try anyways. I try to go in with an open mind, unbiased, and see where I go from there. I do consider writing and art because it's one of those skills that, like when I see people paint or draw, um, that's something I can't do, so I really admire their skills that I personally can't even like begin to touch. Um, and I really admire those type of skills. So for me, writing is an art that I can't like I can't really excel at. Uh, writing has always been my weakest uh, subject. Um, even in school, I got my first B. Okay, I got my, I've been getting straight A's and I got my first B in an English class. And it's, it's just not my forte. It's just not what I'm good at. Um, it's, it's, it is what it is. So I always admire when writers can write so eloquently or their style is so prolific. Like something about the writing is really special. And that's one of the things that I always look for. Obviously character, characters, uh, I gravitate more towards characters than um, like story and plot. In my opinion, I think a great character can make even a boring plot. Like, let's just say it's just a story of someone doing nothing. But if if you write a character that's intriguing and fascinating and just like oozes off the page, I would admire that more than a great plot. Now, don't get me wrong, like great, like just plot, 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 plot. There are some books that are just plot, 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 and they're great too. They're mediocre on character development, but 
it's it it has its place, but I tend to enjoy more characters than uh like the story and the plot. These are some of the things that I look for. Now there are some books that I just like it's more of a feeling per se. Mainly with a book with a feeling like it, I feel something, it's more of like an attachment that something here, the author did something special that I feel somewhat connected or somehow I feel something special about a character. Now, with usually one star, again, like I said, is just awful. Just, just don't. I, I avoid it at all costs. Um, five. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay. So five stars is like fantastic, incredible. Um, usually five stars. I would rec like when I write a book five stars. It has something special. Something. Sometimes it's not even unique is the word, but something. Not even different, but something special. But something that is just its own. Like something. It has, you know what, it has that je ne sais quoi about it. Uh, so let's jump into the two when I give a book a two star rating. A book for me for two stars is not, it's not bad like one star, but it's not, it's not good. Um, you like, you know, like a three star is, and I'll get, let me, I'm going to really focus on the three star because that's where I mainly struggle at when I give these star ratings. Now, when I give a two stars, it doesn't mean I hate it. It just means that I dislike it. There's something, there's a lot more wrong than good. So if you look at it at, at a scale, then that's how it is. That's how, that's how I'm rating it. Now, a four star is like the opposite of that. That has more good than bad. It doesn't reach like a five star caliber. For me, like a five star, it's not perfect, obviously, but a five star compared to a four star, like a four star would be that it has more, it has more good than bad. That it doesn't have, it doesn't like, reaches the caliber like the up of a five star but you know it's still pretty good and i would recommend a four star book i i would recommend a four star book now three stars for me is where i get really murky and i think this is where people get confused on my videos because for especially when i <laughs> rate a book uh three stars and i say this because when i rate a three a book a three star book it's not great like a four star like great but it's not bad like a two star it's it's good or sometimes it's just meh and i say meh because like meh meh i say meh because it's average like it's not it doesn't have anything spectacular like four star oh my god there's me. this four star that pushes it up to the echelon of a four star, but then it doesn't have, it's not bad. Like there's not a lot of bad things to say about it. And for me, that's where I really struggle. When I rate a book, um, a lot of the times when I finish a book, like if you ever pay attention to my uh, Goodreads account, a lot of the times I would move on to the next book and let that rating simmer because I, a lot of the times I feel more than anything that a book should either be like a 3.5 or sometimes it is like a 2.5 so I either bump it up to a 3 or knock it down to a um, 3 also so you have I, I I understand where some people get confused um, for like from my perspective looking out when I rate a book um, or I tell you of a book like on my wrap-up that I say meh, but I still give it three stars. Uh, for me, meh is like, it's just average. Like there's nothing good, there's nothing bad. It's just like maybe sometimes the scales, uh, <laughs> the scales is just even. Like say a book has great like story, like the story is so intriguing, the plot, but the character development is just, mm. and a lot of the times I also, also I do look at themes of a book like something deeper than what the book portraying on the outside I want I want to be able to also dig deeper than just on the surface um, and like that does 
deal with themes. So if you're watching these videos from me and it does seem like it's all over the place, it's especially when I do my wrap ups. Uh, and that's just because, again, like I said, I do struggle with the three stars. Um, I can really tell you when I like like four, like I like a book, which is four stars. And when I don't like a book, which is two stars, which I hate a book, which is one star, which I love a book, which is five stars. That middle really, it's where it, it, it like, it shoots me in the foot because like with three stars, it really is hard for me to, like I'll tell you what I really enjoyed about it, but there are things that like maybe that doesn't, again, push it down or knock it off, knock it down. So again, I for me, I do really struggle with the three stars. I, I struggle more of explaining myself on that three stars because I think I should be more mindful of the phrases that I use like going forward because I want this channel to to be also of a growth and how I talk about books. I also do want to talk about this too is your star ratings changing over time. So I feel as though as a reader I constantly want to grow and evolve and be more mindful of what I like and what I don't like so I do sometimes go back into my Goodreads account and I do see books that maybe I shouldn't have rate them that high like looking back like a retrospective maybe I shouldn't have given them that high of a rating or that high of a praise or maybe I should have lowered it but when I give a star rating it's more of that time that time period of when I read it and I think five star books are the one that really like the one that really do stick with me and I do and I can see sometimes like more of me feeling about certain books changing over time but there are certain books that I do think that are the, those ratings like through and through. Let me know how you rate your books or if you have any questions for me let me know maybe I can do a part two or something else like that. <laughs> if you have a video on how you rate books I would love to check it out so until then I'll see you guys tomorrow for another beta video.